Hello friends, this last part of student management module, and in this part we will discuss how to delete student data, in previous part we have discussed how to edit student data. For this we have go to student.php file, and in this file for delete confirmation, we have use bootstrap for modal class, so here we have use bootstrap for modal skeleton. Here we have add id attribute is equal to delete modal, so here we have give unique id name to this modal. After this, in modal title we have write delete confirmation. In modal body, we have write message like, are you sure you want to remove this? In modal footer, we have create button tag with type is equal to button, name and ID is equal to OK button, by click on this button user can confirm, that he want to remove particular student data. Now we have moved to write jQuery code, so here we have write dollar document selector with on method, and under this we have write click event, with delete button class like delete student, if user click on delete button, then this block of code will execute. Under this, we have write student id variable is equal to dollar this with attribute method and under this we have write id it will fetch id attribute value and store into student id variable for pop up modal here we have write dollar with modal id delete modal with modal method and under this we have write show it will pop up delete modal on web page, with OK and cancel button. Below this we have write, dollar with button ID OK button with click event, so if user click on modal OK button, then it will execute this block of code. Under this block, we have start write Ajax request, under this we have write first option URL set to student action.php, here it will send request to this file. In second option, we have write method, in this option we can define by which method data, it has been sent to server, so here we have use post method. In third option, we have write data, and in this option we can define which data we want send to server, so here we define student id variable value, and action variable with delete value as data has been sent to server. Lastly, we have write success callback function, this function has been called if request completed successfully, and it will receive data from server. Under this function, we have write dollar with span tag id message operation, with html method, and under this we have write data, it will display success message on web page. For hide modal, we have write dollar with modal id delete modal, with modal method, and under this method we have write hide, it will hide modal from web page. For refresh data table data, here we have write data table variable dot ajax dot reload method, it will refresh jQuery data table data on web page. Now we have go to student action dot php file, and here we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar post action variable value is equal to delete, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code.
Under this block, we have write dollar query variable is equal to delete from student table where student ID is equal to dollar post student ID variable. Below this query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement, and under this we have write dollar query variable. It will make query for execution. For execute query, we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar statement variable with execute method. It will execute query. If query successfully execute, then it will execute if block of code, and under this we have write echo statement with message like data deleted successfully, so here our code is ready, now we have check output in browser. Friends, first we have refresh web page, after refresh of web page, we can see student data on web page in jQuery data table, with data add, edit, and delete button. Here we want to check delete, so we have click on delete button, after click on delete button on web page, so we can see modal has been pop up on web page. In this modal we can see confirmation message with OK and cancel button. First we have click on cancel button, then no action has been performed, now we have again click on delete button, now we have click on OK button, after click on OK button, on web page we can see success message. So, in this part we have covered how to delete student data of student management module, and here student management module is completed with all operation like, list data in data table, add data, edit data, and delete data, in next part we will start front end of the student management system by start teacher login page. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.